So much has changed in the last 10 years in South Africa since the founding of the Rakon Institute. My name is Delim Timkulu. I work uh, for I Teach. In 2001, I found out that I was HIV positive. I, I felt that uh, I'm, I'm not gonna go down. Instead, assist other people who were HIV positive like me. In 2009, the first group of traditional healers was trained by I Teach as certified HIV counselors. Underutilized and potentially powerful allies in the fight against HIV, the aim was to create a network of knowledgeable, skilled healthcare workers, trusted by the community, who could extend the reach of the Department of Health. The Institute has understood there is a, a, a cohort of uh, healthcare workers or leaders they are called traditional healers. They influence the direction of the patient's decisions in terms of seeking health. To date, almost 400 traditional healers across the KwaZulu-Natal province have been certified as HIV counselors. A select group of healers is based in local government clinics where they provide ARV treatment adherence support. Their impact has been extremely visible. You're broken down and tired of living life on the merry-go-round. A companion to the traditional healer initiative is the TB Warrior Program, which is run out of Edendale Hospital where expertly trained lay health workers fast-track TB diagnosis and treatment. When you look back before they um, started working with us, we were sitting at about 70% of all our head counts uh, being TB screened. But currently we are sitting at about 98%. I teach in, in Department of Health collaboration is something that we cannot do without. Meanwhile, 60 miles away in the Umlazi township near Durban, the Reagan Institute launched the FRESH study, enrolling young women at high risk of HIV infection. Because young women in South Africa are disproportionately infected with HIV, it's paramount to include them in research, including efforts to develop novel treatment and prevention options. We need to strengthen it and really support it because it will. It will give us answers and also show us direction how to go in terms of intervention. We are very excited to introduce treatment, early treatment to our participants because it provides benefit to them, but also because we are addressing a very important scientific question regarding the science of HIV cure. But our goal is actually to prevent new HIV infections. So we are very, very careful to do the best that we can to prevent people from getting infected with HIV in the first place. I, I see myself in them a lot. I'm also a fresh graduate. They're like my little sisters. It's very important for me to push hard so they can, we can protect them from getting HIV. They have been taught that you can rise up above what you see here at home. You can rise up above any circumstances and you are able to light up regardless of what is happening around you, you're able to rise up out of it. So if we have programs like FRESH focusing on HIV negative uh, young people who are at high risk of getting infected, I think we'll really be winning. Visiting FRESH was amazing. It motivates me to work harder in the lab and to make progress faster in the lab. A lot of science is uh, people actually putting hope in scientists in order to make the next advance and in order to make the next discovery that will change the epidemic. It's completely different when somebody hears about the problem versus when they come here. It changes their perspective. This is what we want to do. We encourage that. We want people to come here 
and see for themselves what we are trying to do, what the challenges are. It gives hope. It's what we want to do.